Hello folks and welcome to my latest video where I'm going to reluctantly reveal 11 things I wish I knew before moving to Florida. I'm Antonio Anselmi, the most trusted name in real estate. Buckle up and prepare for a roller coaster of a ride of Floridian knowledge. Let's dive right in. Number one, ah, Florida, the Sunshine State. Label that because you'll have on average over 230 days of sun, 244 days here in the Tampa market, the land of eternal summer where the climate is as predictable as the plot of the latest WWE SmackDown episode. Expect mild winters that will make you wonder if it's even winter at all, followed by blistering hot summers that will make you question your life choices. Just remember, your sweat glands will become your closest friends down here, and you'll live for those one or two days in January where you can give your AC a rest and open up the windows. When the temperatures dip below 70 degrees, you'll see women down here break out their Ugg boots, scarves, and winter wear. I recall living in Pennsylvania where we would have that day where it would break from the 30 degrees, slushy, cold gray skies and we'd hit like a 55 degree day the next day and bam, you'd see everybody out in t-shirts, shorts, like it was summer. Very seldom does it get that cold down here. Expect it just to be hot all the time. Moving right along to number two. Here's a fun fact. Florida has a season dedicated to hurricanes. Yes, folks, from June 1st to November 30th, it's a time when you get to play the thrilling game of will my house survive this year? But hey, don't worry, we have emergency management systems in place. Hurricane shutters and impact resistant windows are your ticket to feeling safe. It'll be like you're living in a bunker. My wife and I had hurricane impact windows installed a few years ago. It was after a major hurricane came through and the salesperson came in, gave us their spiel. And as I was ready to decline him, he shows me a video of a two by four being launched like a missile at 155 miles an hour into a window and the window didn't break. I looked at my wife, I looked at him, I said, put them in. Now we'll probably never recoup the money spent on them and the savings and efficiency won't pay for them while I own the home, but at least I know if there's a two by four flying around out there at 155 miles per hour, I'm safe. At number three, ah, the cost of living in Florida, the state that gives you a taste of paradise and then takes a chunk of your paycheck from it. It's true, according to the United States Bureau of Economic Analysis, Florida's cost of living is only 2% below the national average, but get ready to walk a tightrope with your budget. With homeowners insurance premiums on the rise, it's more expensive to own, and with utility costs skyrocketing, uh, pushing Florida to eighth in the nation. It's becoming more expensive to live the comfortable life here in Florida, away from the heat. Florida used to be a haven for those looking for a lower, more comfortable cost of living. Because of the migration the past few years, we've seen this change dramatically. And at number four, the real estate market. It's like a game of find the needle in an overpriced haystack here. The median home value in April of 2023 here in Florida shot up to a whopping $410,000. That's being pushed along by the Miami market where your median home value is $585,000. The national median home value is just $388,800. So as you can see, Florida is getting a little bit more expensive. Now, prices can vary wildly depending on the area. Miami and Naples will make your wallet scream, while places like Jacksonville and Tampa will offer a sweet sound of affordability. But keep in mind, with everyone moving down here these last few years, supply and demand has property values rising faster than you can shake a stick at it. Here's some good news for your paycheck, folks. Florida does not have a state income tax. So yes, you do get to keep all your hard earned money as long as you don't mind compensating with property insurance, sales tax and local taxes. But hey, who needs an income tax? We got palm trees. Number six, outdoor recreation. I'll tell you what, if you enjoy being one with nature, 
constantly sweating. Florida has you covered with its over 1,200 miles of coastline and an abundance of wildlife. You'll never run out of opportunities to encounter critters that can eat you for breakfast. From alligators to manatees, Florida's like a real life zoo, minus the air conditioned huts that you get to sit in. Learn to embrace your wet look from all the sweat. Number seven, get ready to live in the land of perpetual excitement where the lines for the roller coasters are longer than your grocery store shopping list. Florida's home to world famous theme parks that'll drain your energy and your bank account faster than you could say, I just wanted to do a leisurely stroll. But hey, who needs peace and quiet when you can have a mouse in your backyard? Number eight, traffic in Florida, where your daily commute turns into an epic adventure. The highways are more like parking lots, speed limit signs are minimum speed suggestions, and rush hours a never ending nightmare. But fear not, slow moving traffic gives you ample time to contemplate life's decisions. Like why would anyone voluntarily move to Florida in this heat in the first place? And at number nine, brace yourselves for the thrilling encounters with Florida's diverse wildlife. From the new tiny genetically modified mosquitoes that they just dumped on us a few years ago to the majestic but mildly terrifying sandhill cranes that you see stalking each neighborhood, Florida's non-human residents will definitely keep you on your toes. Remember folks, it's not just Disney characters roaming around out there, so learn to love your new neighbors. Number 10 where Florida dreams come true, especially if your dream is retiring with the rest of the country's retirees. The state has earned its reputation as a retirement haven, so get ready for golf courses, early bird specials, and plenty of Florida man stories to keep you entertained. It's like living in an eternal episode of Golden Girls with a sprinkle of madness. And last but not least, let's talk about the summers in Florida. We're in one right now. They're not just hot. They're soupy. The humidity will turn your daily activities into Olympic level endurance tests. Whew. I'm in the thick of it right now. You'll step outside, you'll instantly feel like you're swimming through hot air. So get ready to make sweating your new hobby and invest in a good supply of deodorant because you're gonna need it. Now a pool is a welcome addition to any home in Florida. And I'll tell you what, it's been the number one thing that home buyers have looked for the last few years here. Well, there you have it, folks. 11 things that I wish that I knew before moving to Florida. It's a state of sunshine, hurricanes, wildlife, and questionable life choices. But hey, despite the sarcasm, there's something undeniably captivating about the Sunshine State. Just make sure you're ready for the adventure. Thanks for watching. I'm Antonio Anselmi, the most trusted name in real estate. Now, if you found this video informative and engaging, please hit the like and subscribe button and follow for more. I put a video or two out each week on the local Tampa real estate market and surrounding communities. Now, if you're moving to Florida, these are geared for you. Until next time, hug your family, hug your kids. Have a blessed day.